am all sorts of breaking the pattern set before. You yeah, oh good. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be telling a story that I found in a French collection. It is a collection done by Charles Perrault, and it is known as Three Silly Wishes. So I'm also telling something cheerful. <laughs> there once was an old woodcutter who lived with his wife, and they were very poor. And each day the woodcutter would go out and he would chop wood, and he would come back and he would eat gruel with his wife. Every day, gruel, gruel, gruel. They could never afford anything else. And day after day, this man complained to his wife about, if I had money, I'd do this. If I had a carriage, I'd do that. I could be a king. I would be a wonderful king. We could live in a castle. Day after day after day, he whined incessantly about his position in life. And one day, he went out to the forest. And there, while chopping at a tree, his axe flew out of his hands and landed at the feet of a god. <gasps> and the man looked up and he recognized Jupiter and he started quaking in his boots because he knew, he knew that Jupiter wanted, Jupiter could kill him where he stood. Oh, please forgive me, he cried. Please forgive me, I'll never complain another day in my life. I'm so sorry, my lord, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. And Jupiter kind of looked down at him and said, you think that you know so much better than me what you could do if you just had a little bit more. So we're going to see what you would do if you had three wishes. Thank you, thank you, my lord, thank you. I won't forget this, thank you so much, and I'm so sorry. And the man grabbed his axe and he ran right home. And on the way home, he started thinking about, no, no, that, that couldn't have possibly happened. I, I must have been hungry, it was the sun, it was the exertion, it couldn't have possibly happened. But what if it did? And he burst in the door to his home and he said, wife, wife, I have a wondrous story to tell you. And he sat down at the table and she served him his gruel. He looked down at it as he explained that he had three wishes. But he wasn't quite sure. But maybe he had three wishes. But who is one to doubt the gods? And the wife was quite shrewd. And she started thinking, if he were a king, we could live in a castle. And castles come with money because then we'd have people paying us for protection. And, and she just started thinking very logically. Meanwhile, her husband looked down at his gruel and said, Darling wife, out of nothing else in this world, more do I wish that I had just one nice big sausage to go with this gruel. And at first nothing happened, but then over by the pot there came this rattling sound, and out came this giant wriggling sausage. It was crawling towards him. It was disgusting. It was across the floor, and it flopped up onto the table right next to his food, and it was the most beautiful sausage he had ever seen. He had never seen a sausage that big. It smelled so delicious, and he was just about to really appreciate the sausage's splendor when his wife started in on him because, you idiot! How could you? You could have been king! You could have had a castle! You could have had riches, a carriage, horses! And you! You wished for a sausage. <laughs> How could you? You foolish man! And she just would not stop. And she just kept going and going and going. And he almost, almost asked her to stop several times. And finally, in exasperation, he burst out, Wife, I wish this sausage were on the end of your nose! <laughs> his wife's nose. She, uh, she touched it and she could smell it and it was dangling there and it was heavy and she nodded her head up and down and the sausage went up and down and she shook her head from side to side and the sausage went side to side. And 
she tried to pull it off and it wouldn't come off and he tried to pull it off and it wouldn't come off and finally she stopped talking <laughs> and she just sat there and tears started going down her face and the man sat there thinking I have one wish left I could be king I could have that castle I could have riches I could have fame and glory beyond my wildest dreams, and she, she could be my queen. But would she be happy? For his wife, while she did not have much, she'd always been rather pretty, and she'd always been a bit vain, and he could see her across the table, sitting there in silence, tears streaking down her face, and he realized that he could not make this decision for her. Wife? He asked. She looked up at him in misery. We could be king and queen. We could never go hungry again. But if you would like, we can also spin that last wish to get the sausage off of your nose, but I want this to be your decision. <laughs> And she looked down, and the sausage wobbled. <laughs> and she thought, and after a few seconds, she burst out, I want the sausage off of the end of my nose! Then, wife, I wish nothing else for you. And poof, the sausage disappeared, as if it had never been before. And she felt her face, she smiled at him, and he smiled back, and the next day, he went out to chop wood again. And that man never once more complained about where he was in life, for he knew that he had had all of the opportunity in the world to change things, and he had spent it on three very silly wishes. The end. <laughs>